A new king of computing, the world's largest computing hub, how China's Xinjiang is breaking America's computing hegemony. Can you imagine it? In the remote northwestern frontier of China, a land steeped in the sounds of camel bells and the history of the Silk Road for millennia, is now undergoing a world-changing transformation. Xinjiang, a vast region once labeled the lone smoke in the desert, is astonishing the world with a bold declaration. It plans to build the world's largest computing center. Looking back, when 19th century Russian explorers trekked across the Taklamakan Desert, and 20th century oil teams knocked on the doors of Karame, who could have foreseen that this land would intersect with quantum computing and artificial intelligence? Today, the hum of supercomputing servers blends with the winds of the Pamir Mountains, and countless precise chips are operating at high speed at the foot of the Tian Shan Mountains. The news has drawn the attention of global tech giants, and even the United States, long accustomed to its status as the computing hegemon, is feeling an unprecedented pressure. The Xinjiang region, which they once viewed as a technological desert, is now knocking on the door of global computing dominance with the force of a thunderclap. In today's digital era, computing power is the ultimate. Hard currency, as crucial as oil was during the industrial age. Simply put, it's a computer's ability to process data and perform calculations. The rapid development of AI and the deep mining and application of big data all depend on powerful computing support. Whoever controls computing power controls the discourse in the fields of AI and big data, just as those who controlled oil controlled the lifeblood of the economy in the industrial age. The computing center currently under construction in Xinjiang is a marvel of human engineering, both in its scale and power. If you were to visualize its computing power as problem-solving ability, this superhub, covering an area the size of 120 Beijing national stadiums, is like squeezing 30 million top-scoring college entrance exam students into a quantum space. They not only possess exceptional problem-solving talent but are also equipped with a problem-solving speed that transcends existing physical laws. Faced with a torrent of tens of billions of AI data points generated every second, the center's matrix of over 10,000 heterogeneous servers, operating in synergy with self-developed photonic chips and superconducting cooling systems, can complete complex calculations equivalent to five millennia of work by all the world's mathematicians in just 1.2 nanoseconds, instantly solving problems on the scale of ChatGPT training. This computing behemoth, a critical component of China's East Data West Computing Strategic Initiative, is anchored by a target of 60,000 PB. This figure not only surpasses the combined total of the five largest existing U.S. computing clusters, but is also equivalent to replicating the entire digital heart of Silicon Valley. This steel jungle, rising from the foot of the Tian Shan Mountains at China Speed, is reshaping the global computing landscape. It's a direct challenge to U.S. computing hegemony, and it aims to secure core authority in the digital age firmly within China, all through a self-controlled technology chain. So the question is, why Xinjiang? With so many developed cities in China like Beijing and Shanghai, which are rich in economic and technological resources, why was Xinjiang chosen for this significant mission to break America's computing hegemony? Let's analyze exactly what gives Xinjiang the advantage. Xinjiang's natural advantages. The abundance of wind and solar resources in Xinjiang is simply mind-blowing. At a wind farm in Xinjiang, a single rotation of a giant turbine blade can generate enough electricity to power an average household for an entire day. And the solar panels spread across the vast Gobi Desert generate enough electricity in a year to meet the energy needs of an eastern Chinese city for half a year. Xinjiang essentially possesses an inexhaustible, super-energy reserve. Then there's the electricity price, which is unbelievably low, just one-third of that in the eastern regions. AI computing centers need to run 24-7, making electricity a major operational expense. In the East, data center owners often lose sleep over monthly bills running into the hundreds of thousands of yuan. But in Xinjiang, that's not a concern. Machines can run at full capacity without worry, as the electricity costs are a fraction of what they'd be elsewhere. This massive cost advantage is unparalleled anywhere else in the world. This advantage is even more pronounced when compared to Western countries. 
For example, the United States has a relatively complex energy structure, with traditional energy still making up a significant portion of its power supply. According to 2023 data from the U.S. Energy Information Administration, EIA, fossil fuels accounted for up to 61% of electricity generation. The long-term political struggle between interest groups over coal and natural gas has stalled power market reforms. This systemic contradiction is directly reflected in electricity prices, with the average U.S. industrial electricity price reaching 8.2 cents per kilowatt hour in 2024, and in some states like Hawaii, exceeding 30 cents, with quarterly fluctuations often exceeding 15%. The 2021 winter grid collapse in Texas also exposed the fragility of the energy system. In contrast, while the European Green Deal has driven the rapid development of renewable energy, geographical conditions are a natural bottleneck. The EU's total area of just 10.18 million square kilometers, six times the size of Xinjiang, has to meet the energy demands of 27 countries. For example, Europe's offshore wind farms are concentrated in the North Sea, and large-scale onshore wind development is limited by terrain. Areas with abundant solar resources are mostly in Southern Europe, but the construction of cross-regional transmission networks lags. While renewable energy accounted for 45% of the EU's electricity generation in 2023, electricity costs increased by 22% year-over-year and data center operators in countries like Germany and the UK spend over 35% of their operating costs on electricity. In comparison, the Hami region alone in Xinjiang has a technical wind energy potential of 750 million kilowatts, equivalent to three Three Gorges dams. The Turpon Basin has over 3,200 hours of sunshine per year, with a potential solar power capacity exceeding 1 billion kilowatts. Supported by the Xinjiang to East Power Transmission Project's ultra-high voltage grid, Xinjiang has achieved stable power supply through an integrated wind, solar, thermal, and storage system. Industrial electricity prices have remained stable at 0.3 to 0.4 yuan slash kilowatt hour, only one-third of the U.S. average. This cost advantage means that a megawatt-level data center in Xinjiang has a total life cycle cost per kilowatt of computing power that's 40 to 60 percent lower than in Europe and the U.S. In this global computing race, Xinjiang has easily taken the lead with its unique energy advantages. When AI servers are running, they're like blazing furnaces, generating enormous amounts of heat. This makes cooling a crucial and costly challenge for data centers. In eastern China, Data centers must install rows of massive cooling fans, whose noise can be louder than a jet engine. Even more frustrating, cooling accounts for a third of the electricity bill. But Xinjiang is completely different. The winters in northern Xinjiang are like a giant, free natural air conditioner. Temperatures often drop to minus 10 degrees Celsius. All you need to do is slightly open the data center windows, and the bitterly cold air rushes in carrying away the heat from the servers like dedicated little guards. The machines can operate in a cool, comfortable environment without a single cent spent on cooling. Even in the summer, while daytime temperatures are high, Xinjiang's vast day-night temperature swing means temperatures drop significantly at night. The cool night air can also help the data centers. Cool down. Keeping the servers in good working condition. Very few places in the world have such a natural advantage. Xinjiang's role in building the world's largest computing center is no accident. With its three divine cards, abundant and cheap energy, a unique climate, and vast land resources, it has successfully come out on top in the global computing race. This is not just a major opportunity for Xinjiang's own development, but also a powerful demonstration of China's technological strength. By establishing this computing center, China is breaking America's long-standing hegemony in the field, declaring to the world that in the digital age, it can not only progress steadily in traditional industries but also seize the high ground in cutting-edge technology and lead a new wave of global technological development. Friends, isn't such a Xinjiang, such a China, something to be proud of? Let's continue to follow the progress of the Xinjiang Computing Center and witness more technological miracles created by China. 
Feel free to leave a comment below to share your thoughts and opinions on this matter.